Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the Tunisian President Qais Saeed on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty wished the President abundant health and happiness and the Tunisian people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty praised the deep historical ties between the two countries and peoples as well as the development and growth in all fields. The Bahraini endurance sport enjoys great support from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa as this support was evident in many positions achieved by the Royal Endurance Team at the regional and global levels. More on this report. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is the greatest supporter to the sports march of the kingdom. His Majesty's keenness and care to the sports sector, especially the endurance sport, resulted in many achievements on the regional and international levels last of which was the achievement of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, after he won the title of the World Endurance Championship in Abu Dhabi, with the participation from fierce riders from all over the world. His Majesty the King always expresses pride in the achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people in many local, regional and global events, which affirms His Majesty's keen interest in supporting Bahrainis and provide them with the facilitations needed to advance their levels and enhance their skills. This support comes with the aim of achieving the aspired goals of the Kingdom, and this support motivated Bahrainis to exert their utmost efforts in order to add to the series of achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of Tunisia, Qais Saeed, on the occasion of his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Tunisia, Najla Bodin. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the outgoing ambassador of Algeria to Bahrain, Abdul Hamid Ahmed Khoja at Rafa Palace, to mark the end of his tenure in the kingdom. His Royal Highness highlighted the steady growth of Bahrain Algeria relations, noting the importance of further enhancing ties to achieve common goals. He commended the efforts of the ambassador in fostering bilateral relations and wished him success in his future endeavors. The ambassador expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness's unwavering support across bilateral relations. And and joint cooperation and wish the kingdom continued progress and prosperity. The president of the court of the Crown Prince Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed bin Salman Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. The chairman of the Jordan-based Arab Thought Forum, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal, departed the kingdom. During his visit, His Royal Highness met with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Anayla bin Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and the governor of Muharraq bid farewell to the prince. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, honored the winners of the Strongest Bahraini Man Championship and the Strongest Man in the Gulf Championship, which was held under His Highness's patronage. His Highness honored the top three winners and praised a remarkable participation in the fierce competition witnessed in the event, which reflects the good reputation of the Strength Week year after year. His Highness affirmed that the success of the Strength Week 2023 adds to the a series of accomplishments of the kingdom, especially in organizing various events and enhance its status in hosting major sporting events that attracts large number of people from Bahrain and the GCC. He added that this event is an opportunity for the participants to showcase their physical abilities and compete on the regional and global levels. His Highness affirmed keenness to provide support to all sports, especially the Strength Week 2023, which receives remarkable interest and follow-up by fans of these sports in addition to supporting the youth and sports sector.
His Highness added that the physical strength and endurance sports have their own champions and are popular among the youth and own an effective presence in many competitions, which impose a continuation of the Strength Week annually to constitute an important station for making champions in addition to what they achieve in terms of strengthening social ties and relations between young people from inside and outside the kingdom. His Highness expressed appreciation for everyone that played a role in the success of the event.
In the presence of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the closing race of the racing season 2022-2023, which was held on the cup of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the cup of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the cup of His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Cup of Asri, and the Cup of Al Ayam Foundation for publishing on the club's race track in a rough uh, area in Skhir. The race was also attended by a number of their highnesses, representatives of the sponsors of the race, and horse racing fans. Trophies were presented at the end of the race. The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali Saleh. The council expressed pride in the contents of the royal address during the 146th IPU assembly. The council ratified a draft law regarding the statute of the International Council of Dates and approved it in principle. The National Medical Task Force for Combating COVID-19 announced a set of updated regulations following a review of the current health situation in the kingdom and the occupancy rates for COVID-19 cases in hospitals and intensive care units. The Supreme Council of Health Chairman and Head of the National Medical Task Force, Lieutenant General Dr. Mham Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, stated that as of today, a positive rapid test will be considered the diagnostic tool of choice for confirming infections at local health centers, while PCRs can be performed when indicated as per medical evaluation. He added that the new regulations also stipulate that mandatory self-isolation will no longer be in effect while advising active cases to isolate for five days and avoid contact with others. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed stressed the need for all the members of the society to continue following precautionary guidelines, including taking the booster shots of the vaccine and testing when developing any symptoms. 
The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held its regular session presided over by its chairman, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Muhammad Al Khalifa. The council hailed the content of His Majesty the King's address to the IPU Assembly and commended His Majesty's call to the international community to enhance legislative and technical cooperation by adopting an international agreement to criminalize religious, sectarian and racist hate speech and preventing the abuse of media and digital freedoms and platforms to defame religions or incite extremism and terrorism. On the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, the council congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Bahraini government and people, and the Arab and Islamic nations. It affirmed that Ramadan is a cherished occasion that strengthens the society, its affiliation to its religion, identity, values, customs and traditions. On the occasion of the International Day to Combat Islamophobia, the Council urged the international community to take a responsible stance to confront the systematic campaigns to incite hatred and racism against Islam and Muslims in a way that enhances the values of brotherhood and coexistence among people of different religions and sects. Bahrain's moon sighting panel will meet on Tuesday to receive testimonies regarding the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs said the panel will convene its meetings, urging the pu public to take part in the moon sighting efforts and report their testimonies. On the occasion of the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, the chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid Al-Hajri, opened a Noor Mosque in Senad. This comes in implementation of the royal vision of His Majesty the King to build mosques in all regions of Bahrain. In a speech of the occasion, the chairman affirmed that Bahrain is witnessing a remarkable increase in mosque building in accordance with the directives of His Majesty the King and with the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. A press conference was held in the presence of the Chairman of the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission, Chancellor Nawaf Abdullah Hamza, and the Deputy Chief Executive for Electronic Transformation at the Information and E-Government Authority, Dr. Zakari Ahmed al Khaja, on the launching of the Bahrain Legislation's application, which aims to facilitate access to a diverse list of legal electronic services. The application provides the same database for the website of IGA, which provides an opportunity for all those interested to view the available legal text, which will form a comprehensive archiving and documentation process for all legal texts in Bahrain. The first conference for business leaders, Connect to Innovation, concluded in Bahrain, which was organized by Startup Nation Central, a non-profit organization that connects governments, companies, and investors with the Israeli innovation ecosystem in cooperation with the Ministry of Industry and Commerce and the Bahrain Economic Development Board. The conference brought together a group of officials in the field of technology to focus on challenges and hold professional workshops, lectures, and discussions on various promising sectors enabling the two countries to exchange knowledge and expertise.